Welcome back to Rednecks Dirty Hands, I'm Pete. And today, well, as you can see, we're getting ready to go to the Peterborough Sledderama. Jim and little Jim are working on your mama. Little Jim here is becoming a professional polisher detailer. Look at those clutches on there. Jim, I think you could shave in there. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing the new uh, Ultimax belt on there for the show. And then we've also got the shocker all dialed in we've made quite a few changes to the shocker here recently and uh, i think people are going to love looking at this in the booth so in the last video you might have saw me fixing the rails on lieutenant dangle there but uh, one of the things we did while lieutenant dangle was in here is we swapped that front end you know we did the we did the old switcheroo this front end here was actually narrower and more aerodynamic those spindles are nice and round you know whereas the stock ones flat Flat is slow. That's scrubbing off a half a mile an hour, I'd say, Jim. I'd say. <laughs> so now, the shocker, the front end is more aerodynamic. We even put on the Fox floats. You know, not only are they lighter than those QS3s, but same thing, aerodynamic. Nice and smooth. Smooth is fast. Fast guy. <laughs> and thanks to Nate, polished up that velocity stack. Look at that. That air is going to be going in there super fast. You know, it's all about saving weight and going fast when you're doing the radar run. So we got those upper A-arms. Those are off Lieutenant Dangle, and they're so much smaller and lighter, and it's tucked right in, keeps everything closer to the body. We got the round spindles on there. And then, of course, we did one more slight modification to the track on there. We did do a, a short uh, video on YouTube here showing what we did there. That was originally a 15-inch wide track, and uh, we made... a. We made a small adjustment. Uh, how'd we do that, Jim? Well, Pete used his skill. <laughs> a shout out to Just North Mac Tools, Claude there. I bought a whole uh, Milwaukee kit off of him and that skill saw was in there. It's like sitting here thinking, it's like, we want to go fast with this thing. And all the fast guys run the narrow track. I was like, well, I couldn't find one for sale. Like this is the 136. It's originally a 137 inch skid. I got the 10 inch wheels in there with 11 tooth drivers up front with the original suspension in here, slightly modified. And uh, we wanted to run, couldn't find a narrow 136 inch track. So when you can't find it, you make it. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Jim and I are trying to make the shocker even faster this year than it was last year. But uh, to go faster, we got to make a few go fast mods. That's a 15 inch wide speed track there. And we know all the guys on the asphalt hitting the real top speeds. They got an itty bitty narrow track. So uh, I think we got to do something about that, Jim. Oh, well, how are we going to do that, Jim? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're about to do some sketchy shit. <laughs> we said we we're smart. So. Uh, safety squints engaged. Okay, everybody count all your fingers before we start. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I can't wait to hear the comments on this one. <laughs> Just a tick over 12 inches. That's what I call a speed trap. So, I mean, now that we got the shocker and your mama all polished up, ready to go, we'll take them into Peterborough, the Peterborough Sledderama show, and, uh, you know, you guys can swing by the booth, check her out. Now, the only real problem with loading these uh, Jim and Jim is... Uh, <laughs> These are gym powered right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this one, I got the 700 triple two stroke in there, but we haven't fired it up yet, so we ain't driving it into the trailer. And then the shocker, I mean, the shocker runs, but you know, it's got all those sharp chisels and picks in there, so we don't really want to be driving it on the concrete. So, old Manuel labor time, we're going to have to drag him in there. This is going to suck. Yes. You know, I don't know what's the coolest thing. You know, we were at the Toronto show. We had your mama in the actual Yamaha booth <laughs> with the Turtle Stomper sticker on there. <laughs> and now we're going to have the Shocker in the booth, Peterborough, right beside it. And it's, of course, a limited edition Turtle Stomper as well. Look at the custom embroidery on the seat. Oh, yeah. She's a nice one. You know, your mama's looking tight and right with this new wrap that Nick did on there. And then, of course... It's got the huge dragons or dangle diggers, as I call them, from Arnie's Cat House there. People see these and they're just like, holy jeez. So Jim was like, you know what? I need to be able to hook up too. So <laughs> he's got some chisels and picks in there. I don't think traction will be an issue. It doesn't look like it. 
Some people, after I posted that short of cutting this down with the skill saw, were asking or commenting, you know, what about those top wheels there? Because, uh, you know what, normally you got wheels on there that hold the track up off the suspension. Well, again, with some slight modifications, we got the suspension sack down and then I made a bar that goes across and I got two little out of the wheels. I think it was off a Yamaha suspension we found out in the yard, eh? Yeah, like a RX-1 or something like that, Apex? Yeah, I think it was an old RX-1 skid or something. Had the shaft going through with those two tiny little wheels, so I just pulled the shaft out, cut it down. It was a little bit longer and then I just machined it down so I could slide the wheels into the center of the track so we're riding in the grooves there and now it holds it up just enough and then when the weight goes down on this and it's under load, the top of that track isn't touching anything anyway so we should be free and clear, Jim. Fast. All right, so it's go time, time to load. Time to load. All right. <laughs> This is the crappy part. <laughs> Those wheels are freaking junk too. Like no matter where you're rolling, they just don't roll smooth. They always get hung up or the sled falls off. All right, so the plan is get this one on wheels, shoot it straight in there on one side, and then we'll flip your mama around, drag her in backwards on the other side and then put all our other stuff up at the front of the trailer and then we gotta go set up in the memorial center there's definitely gonna be more of a fight than that jake paul mike tyson fight hey hold on okay do it again yes sir They rolled in there and uh, fit pretty good, Jim. They did. Nice. So like it's made for it. That's what you call a nice one. <laughs> this is what you call a nice one. And we got plenty of room to put the rest of our stuff up there, so we should be in good shape. Well, looks like we made it right in time. There was nobody here, so we were able to back up. We already got everything all unloaded. We just got to get it over to our booth, and uh, yeah, people are setting up. Mm -hmm. Getting all set up, honey bunny. We're getting there. in the trailer or did Jim grab it? I, don't I think know. he did grab it. I think all the stuff's there. We need it. So we can extend the flagpole. Okay. Good job, Jim. Thanks, Nader. Christina, fabulous as always. Thank you. Thank you very much. Look at the booth all set up. We got the flag set up, the hats on the rack, all the shirts and everything set up. Your mama's looking mint in the booth. I gotta say, we just keep stepping it up. <laughs> Definitely right? looks better than uh, Toronto. <laughs> I think so. With the, we're down to one table, got rid of the two tables, but those shelving units are working out mint. And we got, this is the same size booth as we had in Toronto, but this is way better. All right, so we are all set up. It's funny, we were talking there the other day. We weren't sure if HB Cycle was going to be here or not. And then they're set up right across from us. Yeah. <laughs> They'll have a bunch of good deals in there, I'm sure. So I don't know if they're actually going to have the tunnel set up from building to building. It's nice weather and all that. They're probably just going to leave it wide open. Yeah, they didn't last year either. No, I don't think so. So look at this trailer. <laughs> <laughs> There's Dave. There's Hurricane, yeah. Hurricane Dave's already here. We need to talk to this guy. Like, that is a trailer. <laughs> Beauty. Good day. Hey, what do you mean, 
<laughs> What's going on? We're rolling, we're just filming. You obviously just got here all set up. We're all set up. We're nice one. <laughs> so we might have to just take a little tour around today <laughs> because tomorrow we're gonna be nailed yeah. in the booth, right? Yeah. So we get a sneak peek on uh, all the old the vintage stuff. Oh, look at that fuel tank. Oh yeah, we're gonna be reviving one or two of those, right honey? Yes sir. <laughs> Jeez, hopefully more people are showing up later tonight or <laughs> she's looking kind of bare in here. Uh, I think we took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. <laughs> Maybe they can help us out. Yeah, yeah what are those guys? What I are they thought doing? they were actual people. <laughs> so we are in the home of the pizza. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we might as well take a tour. We got Mike's obviously been and gone. He's already all set up with the Ultimax spread. Oh. Maybe we can get a better deal at a on a tech vest here, Jim. Well, this one might be a better deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you take 50? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's the hurricane booth. Yeah, he brought a big old stack of belts. More belts over here. Yeah, geez, eh? Mm, got Bennett's Power Sports is here. Ham's oil fella. I think we met him up in Toronto. Oh, need a snowblower? Hey, you want to know the best way to get a deal from the cat shack? What? Duck under the tape now. <laughs> we'll help ourselves there. Something nice in there, Ryan. That looks like Ryan brought a fair bit of stuff. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you film me, I'll carry it. <laughs> Slide addicts over here, they got the uh, snowmobile lifts all set up. That's pretty cool. Well, hopefully this is just right packed tomorrow with the, all the vendors, all the cool old parts and old sleds and stuff. But she's pretty bare right now. Mm -hmm. We might as well stop and get a bite to eat there, Jims. Well, if we don't, we won't, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back in here the next morning, and it looks like everything's still here, baby. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Nothing grew feet and walked away, so that's good. <laughs> Sheesh is here again to help us out. Hopefully uh, we can sell some of our merch. And then uh, everybody, yeah, HP Cycle is all set up GP bikes. So it was pretty empty looking in here last night, but she's looking pretty good now, honey. She's filled up now. And how to become a part of the series. CSRA, located in the Memorial Center. <laughs> well, I'd say the booth is a bit of a hit there. Honey. Yeah, it's getting busy. <laughs> we pulled ten of us <laughs> over at the crowd, time, uh, and I was at the end of the fellas. And oh yeah, <laughs> lo and behold, we got our buddy, our buddy Ernie showed up, and he's he's like Santa Claus today. I know. Got a surprise for you. What do we got? A box. Oh, what's in the box? Open uh, that up for me, Jim. Oh, your parts. <laughs> Go fast. A, oh yeah, I put a phone call out Whoa. to Ernie there yesterday and asked if he had uh, something, something that I needed, and there we go. Oh, Autotronic yeah. ignition module. Good for another 200 horse. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. now we got to talk to this fella, <laughs> 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 Mr. Roblo. We got an Apex that uh, I guess is going to be coming your way. Yeah, I hear that. <laughs> So now I gotta talk to you and Hurricane Dave there, because I think Dave's gonna hook us up with the uh, 
the ECU and the wiring harness. Perfect. So then we're going to have an Apex that uh, is probably going to be a money pit. <laughs> uh, money pit's still there. <laughs> Waiting for you. We, we, maybe next year. <laughs> we can only have budget, so... Budget's empty? <laughs> budget's, yeah. It's just it's not just in the budget. <laughs> <laughs> I've been stuck in the booth all day. The swap meet is cleared out. I didn't get to see any of the action out here, but Jim's telling me. We should have been out earlier. We should have been out here. He said there's a deal on an old sled out here. Hopefully it's not loaded up yet. Talk to the uh, Skidoo multicolored tube guy. <laughs> yeah. They're filming a clip here. <laughs> Make an offer. 20? What'd you take, Fanny? Oh, come on now. Oh, if you squint, she's meant. You need to own that. It runs. <laughs> prove it. Let's see it. We already proved it. Spark her up. Yeah, it, 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 it fired. It didn't run long, but it fired. Can you get that camera running because it's not going to run for long. <laughs> Wow. That was good. That was first pull. That counts as first pull, right? Wow. All right, pay up, guys. So with the skid in it, how much? Right now? 100 bucks. Wait, it started. 150 bucks. No. 100 bucks. I need 50 cash right now. Go on eBay right now and see how much that is. Oh, yeah. Double dog dairy. Got player seed on it. It wrecks the value. Okay. Okay, what if it's 50 bucks cash? I think we just or what What? What? would you say? If you fix it all up, give me your number. Once it's running and looking good, I'll buy 500 for it. To me, this With is the a, player seat? No. No, it can't have that. No. Not yet, yeah, but that. Uh, You're not going to get a $50 You can sell that player seat on for 50 bucks. What was that? What were we talking, 60? That's still a couple short. I know it's the end of the day, but. I'll take five greenies for it. I can't do it. Okay, well, I'll tell That's you what. Okay. You know, you know, all I can do is take this edge Look, there and put it in something running. Look, That's got all I got. Clean There's up. a bang machine right around the corner. I, I just got laid off. <laughs> then you shouldn't be buying snowmobiles, my man. Seventy bucks. That's all I, I got. Hundred bucks. Can't do it. I'm that's okay. It. Well, if we don't see Ida, that's okay. Mm. Like I said, this thing will live another life. We even it fired. <laughs> it's enough to give you hope. Run the fuel pump. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, but everything else is sold, right? Yep. Well, the highest bid on the Massey is forty. Yeah, so if you can beat forty bucks. Forty. I got forty bucks in my pocket on that Massey right now. And if anybody wants. Well, then it's already sold. You got forty bucks in your pocket. <laughs> forty one. Forty one. Forty one. We got an auction! 42! 50 on me, that's 399! Sold! Nobody wants the Massey. <laughs> the only guy that wants the Massey is that guy right there. And even that guy's like, I don't even want to be riding this. Uh, so hold on. Split this up. You're gonna sell that rare piece to him for 50. And then we get the whole sled. That with, whole sweet slide rail suspension. Yeah. For, for 30. With this. You can say no. This goes with it. Say, Which deal. This Wait, goes with it. Deal. That goes that with goes that. With that can go with yeah. that. Yeah. That's already got a little bit of smash on it. Oh, I think you got a deal. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so you're getting this for 50. Oh. Uh, yep. That's and a you lot. Set it down to 30. You got her. <laughs> this right here, this is haggling at Sledorama right now. We don't even know what's going on here, but I think we're going home with a snowmobile for 30 bucks. And uh, some fella is getting a mint uh, cow piece, which I don't even know why he wants it because we're getting the rest of the sled, but whatever. Jim! Give him the money, I don't know. All right, you got 50 for a piece of plastic. I'm the 30 for the rest of the sled. I'm the proud owner. <laughs> the worst part is, I know I spent $400 to buy that sled in 2006. And she's mint. And if you squint wow. a little bit. If you squint, it is, yeah. <laughs> Pete, you owe me 50 bucks. <laughs> hey, give me that piece of plastic back. <laughs> the deal's a deal, the handshake's there. <laughs> Shake his hand, Jim. 
Everyone's a winner. <laughs> what else you want to sell? You get you you deliver, right? It's my shrewd negotiating <laughs> skills. That's how I can lose so much money so fast. <laughs> We're in the tower. We got the best of both worlds. That's the skidoo with the player of seat. Something just uh, ain't right there. <laughs> Maybe an Arctic cat. Maybe an Oh, we got the trifecta going on oh, here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, Jim, you bought yourself a snowmobile. Wow. Uh, I'm going to go... The second cheapest snowmobile we sold today. <laughs> second cheapest? <laughs> cheapest was $6.99. <laughs> what did, what's led right you here. sell for just 6 Moto Ski Futura. And it's, uh, this guy bought it? These two guys in here. That's Farmer. Farmer! Farmer! Hey, I'll give you eight bucks. <laughs> <laughs> you got to pull her out now. <laughs> How was your show, buddy? Good. How about you guys? Not too bad. Not too bad. I've been nailed in the booth most of the day, yeah. but uh, you know, I didn't get out to see the goings on. But looks like you, you brought a bunch. This is what you're taking home? Yeah. Bought a little more than we came here with, but well, uh, you sold some stuff, eh? Yeah. Probably broke even on stuff for the end, but mm. at least the sled's not mine. He has to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> you can see her tucked in there. A nice one. And on a side note, you have a brand new cylinder for this guy. Yeah. For our buddy Scooter's XC700, don't you? Last year or the year before there, we were running uh, Scooter's XC700. Ran it a little bit too hard and we popped one cylinder on there. And to try and find a non-power valve 700cc cylinder, it's harder than you think. But uh, my buddy farmer hooked me up, got me a brand newbie. Look at that. So Scooter's XC700, gonna be coming back to life. Thank you, buddy. Anybody needs help with parts and all that? Southern Sledding Trucks, my buddy farmer. Check them out. Thank you. All right, Jim, I'm leaving you in charge of figuring out how we're getting that home. No, here, hold on. <laughs> you give me the camera. <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> that was your deal, Jim. <laughs> Why do I even come here? It's with only you? thirty dollars. That's a that's a back break in thirty bucks right there. <laughs> We still got young cat. Why? <laughs> Good doing business with you, fellas. Saved from the crusher. Well. We took a little time out to uh, get a piece of junk snowmobile, and uh, they've got the, the site packed up. Why is it loaded in the trailer? <laughs> well, we've had a successful day, and $30 <laughs> we got a snowmobile, which we're going to have a revival video coming here. We got an old uh, skidoo from STV there, 30 bucks. Billy says he heard it fire, so <laughs> I got my doubts. But... Uh, We've had a great show, and uh, now, time to get some food. Okay. Sure. the star of the show. Make sure you get D-Ron in the clip. Everybody just loves that guy. <laughs> Everyone loves <laughs> D-Ron. And he wasn't even there the whole fucking day. I was out. <laughs> <laughs> walking walking around. The wandering D-Ron. Round two to Shula's joke. <laughs> <laughs> That was a pretty good one, Jim. <laughs> well, I gotta say, today was a good day. We, uh, the Sledorama, Peterborough Memorial Center, Sledorama, I think this was the 27th, yeah, 27th annual yes. Sledorama show, the swap meet. We didn't really get to see too much, but Jim did. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, talked us into buying this, uh, <laughs> Sweetheart of a sled. So, even in today's economy, with everything, sled prices being high, or you know, and, uh, can't buy groceries. Well, I tell you, but you can buy it for thirty bucks. God. Three ninety nine. And guess what? It runs. She runs. <laughs> As always, we we really appreciate all the fans that came by the booth you know to shake your hands let us know that they love the videos that we're putting out the content the quality of it it's amazing to see that you guys are enjoying what we're doing which makes us want to do it even more 
you know, so we really, really do appreciate it and uh, we're going to keep doing it as much as we can. So as always, take her easy. Dean Thank Ron you. says, sorry for not being there. I'm out, out on adventure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the wandering Dean Ron. The wandering Dean Ron. All right, guys. Here we go. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. We paid 30, but it's worth 100. <laughs> Jim! How about nuts the bus, brother? Oh, Get the out! Out! This should be on the OnlyFans. <laughs> you know it's a good deal when you open up the hood and we got an upside down smiley face here. Everybody's got a tetanus shot. <laughs> well, I gotta say for 30 bucks, good deal, Jim. I think so. I think so. That's thirty dollars. <laughs> that's thirty dollars. <laughs> that's thirty dollars. That's that's uh, twenty dollars, Jim. God damn it! I mean, the bricks don't work, but that brick lever there is worth thirty dollars. <laughs> that's thirty dollars. <laughs> we got the actual original backrest. What's that worth, Jim? Forty dollars. <laughs> We're making money now, Jim.